Welcome back to Taylor Toned. You've made it to my 30 minute full body bar and Pilates inspired workout. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout. I'm uploading two brand new full body workouts every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss that. Also check out my Instagram. I am at Taylor Toned. I've already filmed today's workout. It was absolutely incredible. You are going to be needing a mat or something to protect your knees but this is completely equipment free also i've just sent out a free workout plan so head over to www.taylortoned.com if you'd like to receive that plan enjoy the workout let's get into it bringing yourself up in towards a standing position you're going to step your feet underneath your hips your toes point forwards you're going to start to just bounce side to side I want you to hook those elbows into the waistline and you're just bouncing with the music. Getting jiggy with it. <laughs> just bounce side to side, elbows in, now give those arms a little shake off. Maybe give those shoulders a little shake. Inhale, exhale, let's do this. You have just six more seconds here. Five, three, two, one. I want you to bring your right foot forwards, left foot back. We're going to go into a lunge here. So you're going to drop down to the floor. Now create two 90 degree angles with your legs. We're going to lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down. So in a lunge position, double check here. Start to really think about your form. So I want your shoulders rolled backwards and down. I want the belly button in. Abs nice and strong, core nice and tight. The knees going over the top of the middle toe and lift. Go four, lift up. You have just three until stillness here. You've got two, then lift. Last one, now hold. Stay down here. I want you to incline the body forward, straighten both the legs, and then bring it back into a lunge. So we go, extend for two, we bring it in. For two, drop down, extend and push. You'll get a calf stretch here. It will challenge your balance, balance and you'll also get a little bit of thigh work. I want you to keep an extension from the crown of the head down towards the tailbone. Extend and push one more. Go drop and drop. We go extend. Get that heel down. Now bring it back into a lunge. You're going to twist round through the center. You guessed it. Other side. We go. Lift up, lower down, lift up drop down. Inhale, create those two 90 degree angles. Take a look down at your front leg. Is your knee diving over the top of the second toe here? Create two 90 degree angles. So we are not doing this. Forwards, we're going down. Lift, pull the belly button in. Inhale, exhale. You've got two and drop. Last one. Now lower down. I want you to incline forwards, drop the heel to the floor. Incline back down to the floor, lunge. Incline over. So if it doesn't feel right, you can always bring that back leg a little bit further in. Press forwards. And we press back down into that lunge. Inhale. Exhale, take it down. We go, press over and over. We go, drop into that lunge. Keep the eye line forwards. Keep that extension from the crown of the head. Down to those sit bones. Now hold. You're gonna rotate back through the center and then you're gonna step yourself to the side of your mat so you've got enough room to roll out. Bring your chin to your chest, roll down. You're gonna roll through the vertebrae, walking all the way into a plank, hold a full straight arm plank and then bring it back through in towards a standing position. Step your feet in line with your hips. So you've just got a little bit of distance between your feet, a couple of inches between your feet, walk into a plank, squeeze the belly button in and roll it back in. If you're thinking right now, Gabrielle, Sunday name, I cannot do that. You can always find this modification where you just drop the knees down, pull the toes in, but don't collapse through the lumbar spine. Keep the abs nice and strong. Keep squeezing the belly button in, chin towards your chest, roll down, inhale. Exhale, walking out in towards a plank. Find that gorgeous length through the body. And you want to find a straight line, crown of the head, down to those heels. Don't let the hips dip. Don't let those hips be too high. You have one more of these, I know you can. You would feel it in those abs. You would feel it in your shoulders. One more this time, you're going to hold it. Walking out in towards a plank, hands underneath your shoulders. Now you're going to step your feet together and squeeze your inner thighs together as tight as you possibly can. Put on the tightest belt that you own right now. For your modification here, just drop the knees down and incline the hips forward, one straight line. 
So, I want you to really pull that belly button up. Imagine the mat is rejecting your belly button and you're squeezing it towards your spine. Lower the left forearm down, lower the right forearm down. Coming in towards a forearm plank now. Remember your modified option. Hips are stacked and square here. I want you to start to walk backwards. If this is an available option for you, go ahead. You're gonna walk back, extend your plank, and then walk it forwards again. Back into a forearm plank. So you're gonna walk it backwards, extend your plank, and walk it forwards again. Keep squeezing the belly button in. Keep rotating those hip bones under, and keep squeezing your inner thighs and glutes together as tight as you possibly can. Let's get a burnout and a shake out today. Push back, walk in. Now this time, hold your forearm plank. You're gonna rotate your left fingertips to right elbow, and you're gonna roll in towards the side plank. Again, if this option is not available for you, don't panic. Just lower the underneath knee down to the floor, and you want the side of the leg, the shin on the floor the little side of the calf if you want that full advancement you are up here with me pushing that hip bone nice and high to the sky you have just seven just six through center in just go four three center in two in one don't collapse down let's bring it back through center let's transform your waistline with these planks and side planks rotate your right fingertips to left elbow you're gonna roll around sweep this hand high hips are stacked heart is open shoulders are stacked top hip is gliding towards the sky for five for four center in three in two in one now back to the center you're going to extend right arm left arm open the feet in line with your hips eye line to the floor left elbow left left knee left elbow squeeze other one push squeeze push up the tempo squeeze push squeeze push on the beat let's do this you've got five four three two one Whew. well done drop yourself down you're gonna tuck the toes under and you're gonna roll walk all the way up I should have worn these socks today slipping down off my feet you're gonna bring yourself into a standing position bring the feet wider than the hips we're going into a wide clear position open through the feet. So we're gonna go down, out, up. Down, out, up. Let's do it. Down, extend, and lift. Go down, extend, and lift. Inhale, exhale. You've got this. So you wanna squeeze. I always like to think of this bit as a warrior. Extend, lift. So you're going warrior, extension. Pull the hands to the sky. We go down, extend, then lift. You've just got three. Reach up. You've just got two. Reach. Lift. One more. Go down. Extend. Reach. Now last one. Bring the elbows in front of yourself. We go. Open the window. <laughs> and then we close the window again. I'm hoping my camera right now hasn't got like a huge glare in it. I've just seen the light has passed by my camera. I'm hoping there's no glare in it. Fingers crossed. We go, otherwise this burn and this pain was for absolutely no reason. We go, close those hands together, open to the side. You've got two more here, we go close. Open, extend, one more, we go, close in. We go, open, extend, yes, those arms should be burning too. Now drop those hips lower down, take little tiny pushes and pushes. You want your palms facing each other here. So the palms, they face each other. You've just got seven, six, five, you've got four more, three, still in two, and one. Now bring the hands on towards your hips. If you can, lift this heel high and drop. We go other heel, then down we go. Lift the heel, drop, so you're going opposite heels, peel away from the floor and drop. This is why I need grippy socks. Or if you do this workout at home and your feet are slipping and sliding everywhere like mine right now, do it in bare feet, maybe on a wooden floor, marble floor, something like that. But make sure when we go to the floor section, you've got a mat. Actually, bare feet on a mat would be fine, wouldn't it? Absolutely fine. Just don't wear socks like me. We go drop. You've got four. 
and lower. You've got three, drop down, you have just two, and lower. Now, last one. You're gonna sink those hips two more inches from me down to the floor. Oh, I know. You're externally rotating through those thighs, turning out through the legs, knees over the top of the middle toe. Option, can you lift both the heels away from the floor? Modification, keep them down. The hands, they come in towards ooh, a ballet first position, like you've hugged a massive beach ball, space hopper maybe, and take little tiny squeezes down. Now, at this point, my legs are starting to shake uncontrollably. I want you to be at that point as well, where you go a little push, little press, little press. You've just got eight and seven and six. You've got more thigh work coming up in four, in three, in two, one. Oh, that was a shaker. You're gonna now step your feet in towards a really small first, so not an overturned out first unless you're a professional ballet dancer. You're gonna bring them in towards just a natural V, maybe a little bit smaller than a natural V. You're gonna bring your left leg to the front and then lift this leg away from the floor. We're gonna take it down and up, go down and lift. So you'll notice here my leg is turned out. It's externally rotated from my hip joint, ball and socket joints. You should really be able to get some good movement in there. Now grow off this supporting leg, crown of the head up towards the sky, hands on the waistline. And the whole time the hands are on the waistline, I want you to be actively pulling your belly button away from your fingertips. We go, lift, lower. Woo, let's do this drop. Go up, then down. You've got five, four more. You should be feeling it now. Go three and lower. Go two and drop. Now last one, hold the leg off the floor. Now take a little tiny miniature, almost invisible bend through this underneath knee joint to protect the knee. Don't let that underneath arch of your foot collapse down. So we're gonna take little tiny knee presses up and up. Now this is where you'll really start to shake and burn. You'll get in towards your hip flexor here. Iliopsoas muscle connects the bottom of your body towards the top of your body. You wanna really think about the burn here Whew! and the burn at the top of your thigh. You've got eight more, seven, six. We switch sides in five. You've got this four, three, two, one. Bring the heels together. Then you're gonna take a tiny soften through the underneath knee. Bring this leg forwards, point through the toe, bend the leg, we go. Lift up for two, take it slow this time. Now drop down for two. Really work on your form. A little bit of wind there. I'm hoping my mic is okay and protected. So I have moved inside lately for my workouts because it's windy out here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit chilly as well. I'm like fighting against mother nature <laughs> because the gusts of wind come and it's chilly and the sun is all over the show because it's low. So it glares in the camera. I'm fighting against all kinds of things. So I think I'm just gonna make it easier for myself next week. I'm just film inside. We go down, we take it, lift it up, drop it down. Now single counts go up and down, lift up, drop down. So you want to think crown of the head is growing up towards the sky. It's like you've got a piece of string on the crown of your head and it's gliding towards the sky, towards the ceiling, wherever you are right now doing this workout. Lift, drop. You've got five, lower, four, and drop. You have three to that hold up. You've just got two, and drop. Now last one, hold that leg up there. Externally rotate. If it doesn't feel good in your hip flexors, you can always send the top of the thigh towards the sky, but I want you to burn and shake. So turn the leg out, point through the toe, little lift, and lift. Go up, inhale, exhale. You've got this squeeze, the knee up. Now turn out through that leg, draw in the thigh. Up we go, inhale, exhale. Who's with me for 15 more seconds of this? I know you can, and then we get really, really quick thigh stretch to finish off your leg section, and then we're doing standing seat. You have just five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Give it a quick shake off. If you've got a wall nearby, grab the wall. You're gonna bring your toe towards your glute, knee down towards the floor, nice deep breath. And then shake it off. Other side, bring the toe towards the glute. And then give it a little shake off. So, right now, you wanna bring a bend through your knees. Toes point towards me, you're gonna bend through the knees, incline the body forward. So I'm doing this inclining forwards, my hands are going into a prayer position, into heart center, extend, left leg to the side, point through the toe, and the weight is on this leg. The toe is in line with the shoulder, we go, lift it up, 
take it down, I know. We lift it up and we take it down. This is a really quick set. So don't buckle through this knee here. Don't buckle through the ankle. The leg glides to the side. The hips are rolled and rotated forward. So often when I would teach this in actual classes, I would see a lot of this weird stuff going on. This knee's rolling, this hip's open. No, you wanna keep the hips parallel towards me. <clears throat> up and press, down to the floor. You've got it, we go up, press, lift. Down to the floor, <sighs> up, press, lift. Down to the floor, let's go. Three more of these, I know you can. Hips towards me, you should feel it in the booty, in the side of your thighs. Two more, now last one, you're gonna lift it, hold it. If you need a water balance on too, you can, this is about your core, your ab activation as well, as your seat. You're gonna flex the foot, heel towards the sky, you're gonna take little tiny lifts, lifts, I know, up and up. Heel in line with the shoulder, Incline the upper body forwards, hips are stacked and square, the hip bones are pointing towards me on your device right now. Lift and lift, you've got 10. Other side in nine, in eight, pull that abs in strong. You've got six, let's work your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that burn. You're gonna take a bend through the knee. Incline the body forwards, I'm doing this. Incline the body forwards, hands go prayer, heart sense, roll the shoulders down, elbows to the sides, point through the toe, we go lift and lift, take it down and down. We push the sky with the side of the thigh, then drop. So this is getting into your abductor muscles, also getting in towards your waist muscles here and working your core muscles too. Keep the shoulders rolled backwards and down. This is a burner. If this burned you at home, give me a massive thumbs up so I know that it's just not me being a wimp. Go down, up to the side down to the floor, you've got it, we go up, press, lift, down to the floor, two more, we can do it, just two more, up, lift, maybe find a spot, a spot to focus on, can't speak because it burns so much, you can lift the leg, flex the foot, heel in line with your shoulder, little push, little press, hands to heart centre, roll the shoulders down, elbows to the side, get all your anger, the burn out by pushing the palms together, you've got seven abs coming up here, in six, in five, in four, abs, in three, Two, one. I want to cry at this point, but I'm not going to hold the tears back. You're going to lower yourself carefully down towards the floor. Bring your feet forwards. And then I want you to lower on towards your back. So you're going to bring your back towards the floor. Palms go round the side. You're going to keep your left palm on the floor. Bring the right hand behind the head. Now just dive this palm slightly out to the side. You're going to bring elbow over to cross back down to the floor so we go elbow over to cross if this feels okay for you further challenge here lift the left leg off the floor cross over press so you go in opposite to opposite you've still got one palm grounded down down towards the floor inhale exhale we go up cross to get down and down you've got it lift and lift and squeeze in opposite elbow to opposite knee. We take it down and down we go. Inhale, exhale. Now keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Really common mistake that people make doing abs, they hold their breath. Don't hold your breath. What are you doing that for? You need oxygen to make yourself function. You are just depriving your body of oxygen, depriving yourself of giving this 100%. And guess what? If you give it 100%, that is when all those results happen. You have two more wraps here. You've got to drop down, drop down. Last one. Now lift and hold. Keep the leg off the floor. Bring this hand out to the side. Modified option of this. Wrap the hand underneath the thigh. Then you're going to bring your hands make a little pistol position cross the fingers cross the fingertips and take little pride presses up up on that diagonal lift 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 shooting across the leg seven six five four you've got this three two one you're going to bring the hand under the thigh rotate the body through the center scoop this other leg off the floor chin to chest Press up. 
Now push the palms down and push, press, press. Stack those legs in a tabletop position. Bring your eye line forwards. Get your head, neck, shoulders off the floor. The lower the head, neck, shoulders are towards the floor, the more modified it is. The higher you get them, the more advanced it is. Challenge yourself, pick your option. How much do you want to give me today? Give me everything. You've got six and five. Lower down for the other side of the cross crunch in three, in two, one. Carefully lower yourself back down. Bring this hand to the side. And you're going to scoop, hand behind the head. Let's cross. We go up and cross. Go down and down. So remember your option. Who's had to burn already? Maybe it's because I've been a little bit ill lately, but I'm really feeling this workout. It's supposed to upload. I don't know if I already told you this. It's supposed to upload on Thursday, but I came down with the worst flu in the world. It is now Saturday. So I was ill for like two days, but maybe I'm just burning a little bit more today because I've been so ill. Go drop my body's like, no Gabby, I'm not ready to work out yet. And I'm like, yes you are. <laughs> we go press up and up. We take it down and down. We press lift. Two more of these, go down and down. The last one, you're gonna lift and hold. You're gonna bring this hand off the floor, option, either bring it behind the leg or cross the hands, make a, fit, make a pistol and take little miniature presses up. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, oh my golly, you've got seven, six, lift those legs off, back through center, same as first, like four, three, two, one. <sighs> Oh my gosh, you're going to bring the head, neck, shoulders off the floor, bring the chin towards your chest, you're going to start to fire those legs, switch, 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 now option here to go hands away, so you're going to go in towards a bridge to finish off your class in 20 seconds of this, keep cycling through those legs, bring the head, neck, shoulders off the floor, now let's go faster, for 10, for 9, you have a bridge in 6, Five, four, island forward, three, two, one. Oh, lower yourself down, bring those hands around the side of the hips. You're gonna walk your heels up towards your hips. Now, when you've lifted up, you should be in a 90 degree angle. So check now, lift up, check, are you in a 90 degree angle? Drop down, if you've got a door, maybe a reflective window around, maybe you're near a mirror, double check. If you lift up, are you in a 90 degree angle? The further the legs are away from your body, the more you're gonna target your hamstring muscles, which is the muscles here, and the back of the legs. So I want this exercise for you all at home to be targeted mainly in towards your glutes. I'm thinking about unwinding sequentially, getting mobility through the spine, and strengthening up your spinal column. I want your shoulders spread across the mat. I want your palms down towards the floor. We go press up and up, we take it down and down. Now this time you're gonna lift and hold. Now dig the heels in towards the floor. You're gonna draw me little half circles. So roll the hips, round and a half circle, round and a half circle. Don't let the hips touch the floor. The hips are just skimming on the floor. So they roll round and they roll round. Circle through those hips. Like you're having a little boogie on a Saturday night, a Friday night. Sunday night, I don't know, Tuesday night, if you go out on Tuesday night. Remember when I was at university? Every night was party night. <laughs> roll around, you've got two more. Roll it around, one more, roll it round. Now back to the center, keep the hips pushed up. You're gonna bring your hands on towards the floor, keep the left leg down, and bring your right knee in towards the chest. You know what's coming, little pulses. Up, up, now take a point through this toe. Take a bend through the knee. We go up. And up, we go, inhale, exhale. Now, as you lift your hips up, I want you to squeeze your butt together as tight as you possibly can. Squeeze, squeeze those glutes together and drive the hips equally away from the floor. So if one hip is dipping down right now, correct it. Make sure both the hips are equal and square. We have just seven, just six. Other side in five, in four. Other side in three, no breather, two. And one, other side. Dig the heel in, take the toe off. We go up up, squeezing those hip bones towards the sky. Option here, if you want to take it, you can bring those hands off the floor, test your balance. It's really important you've spread your shoulder blades across your mat. Now give me everything as you lift your hips, pull your butt cheeks together, 
I always say it's like you're cracking a nut in between your butt cheeks. Don't know whether I should say that on YouTube, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Squeeze, that is the kind of force you need to have here. Go seven and six. So you've got five, so we've got a little cardio burst in four, in three, in two, in one. Now dig the heels in, push the hips up, go down, lift, down, lift. Now don't let the hips touch the floor. I just want your hips a millimeter off the floor every time you drop down. If you're wondering why I keep looking down there, by the way, that's how my stopwatch is. You have just eight and seven and six. Go five, over in four, in three, in two, one. <sighs> Let the body relax down towards the floor. Well done, you made it. Itchy you nose, know, sorry. <laughs> I think it was actually a spider creeping across my nose. You're gonna bring your knees in towards your chest. You're gonna give yourself a rock backwards and up today. We're gonna take this standing stretch. We're gonna take a standing stretch, should I say. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're gonna breathe, inhale, scooping out through the abdominals. And you're gonna exhale, push the chest down, lift the eye line all the way up. And then again, inhale, exhale. Bring it in towards a neutral spine. Tuck both the toes under at this point. Keep the toes tucked under. Inhale. As you exhale, drive the heels to the floor. Push the hips high. Take a down dog. You want to be aiming for your heels to come on the floor. You want to be aiming to shine your heart, your chest bone towards your mat. Bring the ears in line with your shoulders. You're creating, you're creating the letter V upside down. Now drop back down towards the knees. Lift the heels, lower back down. It feels really good in the spine as well. Inhale, exhale, tuck the toes under. Push the hips nice and high. Drive the heels towards the sky. Find that V letter. Now bring your hands all the way in towards your feet. Inhale, exhale, bend through the knees. And you're gonna slowly roll yourself sequentially up through the spine facing round towards me. If you need a wall to balance on, go ahead, you're gonna grab a hold of the wall. I want you to bring your left heel in towards your left glute, and the knee comes down towards the floor. Now shine those hips forwards, get the knee diving down with an inhale and an exhale. And then from here, you're gonna try to bring your knee forward. Don't let the foot drop down, use this right arm and hug the knee into the chest. Inhale, exhale. And then you're gonna take a little miniature bend through the underneath knee. Stack this foot on top of the knee and come in towards the stretch. Knee dives to the side. Incline the body forwards and hold here. Bring the eye line forward. You wanna feel the stretch on the outside of the butt. Again, if you need a wall, don't worry about it. You can take it. Then this foot here, the left foot in the air, goes down towards the floor, take a bend through the knees, incline, fold the body forwards. Keep a bend through the knees, flatten your chest, your belly on towards your thighs. Inhale the breath in. As you exhale, extend behind the knees, pull the sit bones to the sky, let the body fall forward. Crown of the head dives down towards the floor and you wanna get as low as possible. Bend through the knees, inhale, exhale. You wanna lift the hands towards the sky, reach those hands up. Drop the hands down, let's repeat other side. Bring your right heel towards your glute. It's like a dance, this one, isn't it? Bring your right heel towards your glute. Squeeze them in. If you need support, pop this hand onto a wall. And then this free hand, you're gonna use it to hug the knee. So thread the knee all the way in. Bring the knee in. Take a miniature bend through the underneath leg. Stack the foot on top, shine the knee towards the side, incline over in towards an abductor stretch, piriformis stretch, stretching the outside of the seat here. If you can't feel it, bend deeper through the underneath leg, shine this knee more to the side and incline the body over. Inhale the breath in, exhale, drop the foot down towards the floor, fold the body down, bend through the knees, allow the belly to drop to the thighs. Inhale. As you exhale, straighten through the knees, allow the crown of the head to drop towards the floor. Bend through the knees, sweep those arms in, inhale, exhale. You're gonna bring your hands through the center into a prayer. I want you to touch your inner thighs together, your toes point forwards towards me, squeeze the belly button in, roll the shoulders down, find a breath in. As you exhale, drive the heels away from the floor, lengthen the crown of the head up towards the sky, drop the heels down. 
give everything a shake start how you finish bounce those heels down give those arms a shake off and well done in your 30 minute workout with me a little bit of a different one today i did loads of standing work i've been doing seated work the past previous video so let me know what you thought about that one see you next time hit subscribe thanks everyone bye